Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here. I'm playing Deadpool. This is the Catch Me If You Can Achievement Slash Trophy Guide. And for this achievement, we'll have to defeat Arclight, which is a boss battle in, I believe, the third level, without taking any damage from her slam attacks. So you can take damage in a variety of ways from her. She'll hit you. Uh, I believe she'll do some kind of whatever. Anyways, the only one thing you can't get hit by is the slam attack. This achievement isn't too bad. I'm playing in the worst case scenario because uh, I don't have any upgrades. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty and this is my first time uh, playing this boss battle. So keep in mind you can play on normal and maybe even on easy and you can play this level by revisiting it after you've beaten the game and got a lot of upgrades which will make it a lot lot easier. Uh, buy all the upgrades you possibly can before the boss battle to make it as easy as possible for you. And uh, the only thing you'll need to do is make sure you stay alive. You do have regenerating health, so don't really don't worry much about dying. It's more about dodging all of her slam attacks. And if for whatever reason, like you see me here, low on health, just run around in a circle and it will regenerate. Try to hit her with the combos as well as possible. I don't do a great job with the combos during this section of the uh, boss battle, but you'll see really good combos in the next section. Either way, to dodge her slam attacks, which is that attack right there, you'll see her slam the ground with a big blue force field, and this uh, line will come straight at you. You can do it in two ways. You can use the teleport, which is the B button, to teleport to the side. Although, if she does two of them back to back pretty close to each other, you might not have a teleport just yet. You will need to double jump to the side. So keep that in mind. You can use your pistol and your grenades, although you will need to probably do a lot of the damage first person using your um, swords or whatever melee weapon you have as those don't regenerate. Halfway through the boss battle, you'll come to this small cinematic. I fast forward it for you. And here's where I do a lot of really good combos to win. This wasn't, I mean, it took me a few times. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but I don't have a lot of upgrades. I'm playing on the worst, uh, hardest difficulty. So keep that in mind. And uh, just keep whacking at her, make sure you get those upgrades. And the only thing you're doing is uh, dodging the slam attacks. And the slam attacks, as I said, she'll punch the ground and this big blue line will come forward to you. And uh, you just have to teleport to the side or double jump. Now, right there, that's how you do it. You want to do that every time, you can also double jump, as I said. Uh, try to use your momentum powers. And also, uh, last thing is... Restart the checkpoint if you fail in any way at all. If you, if she hits you with that power, you will turn orange and you'll start moving in slow motion. If that happens at any point, feel free to just restart the checkpoint and it'll bring you, there's two checkpoints during the battle, one at the very beginning and one during the middle. If at any point she hits you and makes you turn uh, orange and uh, you start moving in slow-mo, just pause it, restart the checkpoint and uh, you'll be brought back to a pretty easy point. Uh, hopefully that's helpful for you guys. If you're really, really struggling and it's pissing you off, just come back to this achievement at a later time. Play it on an easier difficulty with more upgrades. When you beat her, that happens. And there's the achievement. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you next time. Hopefully the video was helpful. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.